The Tigers have been rebuilding for years. Yet as the first month of the 2021 season ends, Detroit has the worst record in baseball. April didn't feel like a rough step on the way to something bigger. It felt like a startling, honest look at where this franchise really is. The Tigers have cut payroll each year since 2017, and now just six teams in the league have lower payrolls. The Tigers, according to Baseball Reference, have an $80 million payroll. Miguel Cabrera fills up $30 million of it. He's hitting 115 this season and has two more years, 2022 and 2023, under contract. The Tigers said goodbye to guys with good years still to play. Justin Verlander, J.D. Martinez, Nick Castellanos. In trading them to build for the future, there's very little return to show at the major league level. It makes sense to draft well and build from within, but like everything in sports, that has risk too, even if you continue to have high picks. Earlier this season, before opening day, I asked Al Avila when the payroll was going to stop dropping. But was there a point in this offseason where you knocked on Chris Illich's door and said, can we spend some more money this year? Can we go sign some bigger name guys and maybe accelerate this a little bit more? Well, the only thing about that is, you know, you, you have to be careful. I, I, I have very little patience, but you have to have patience. <laughs> in that um, we've got to establish, and, th and then I had this conversation with A.J. Hinch in the hiring process, and then afterwards we, we agreed that one of the things that we have to really establish here is our pitching. And once that's done, then we can move forward. So we do need to see uh, you know, progress in that area, and we need to see some progress in, 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 in our minor league prospects that you know, last year they didn't get to play. Well, this year they're obviously, you know, hopefully we'll get that season going and then they'll get that under their belt. Once we get that going, then, you know, then at that point you can be a little bit more aggressive on that side. That's the company line. Was the Tigers fan base spoiled from 2006 through 2014? Maybe, but 2.5 to 3 million people poured through the gates each season. Everyone in the driver's seat of this teardown from Avila to Chris Illich hoped to follow a plan that has worked for the Royals, Cubs, and Astros to get to baseball's mountaintop. On opening day, we heard Illich praise his plan and how A.J. Hinch fits into it. From my perspective and Al Avila's perspective, he's also been a tremendous partner in, in going about the business of, of building out our roster, uh, looking at our organization long term in terms of how we're trying to rebuild and build this into a championship caliber club. We are set up for success. Um, you know, we just need more of our young talent to develop. And as you guys know, that takes time. Every team in town is rebuilding. The Lions are the Lions, but there's an ugly sense of apathy when it comes to this Tigers team, and you certainly hope, guys, something turns quickly. Yeah, you got to hope so. We got to get back to our sports roots and win.